In Vajrayana Buddhism, the Adi Buddha, is the first Buddha or the primordial Buddha. The term re-emerges in Tantric literature, most prominently in the Kalachakra. Adi means first, such that the Adibuddha was the first to attain Buddhahood. Adi can also mean primordial, not referring to a person but to an innate wisdom that is present in all sentient beings. In Tibetan Buddhism, the term Adibuddha is often used to describe Samantabhadra, Varadhara or Kalachakra. In East Asian Mahayana, the Adibuddha is typically considered to be Vairokhana, the Guhyasamaha Tantra says of Varadhara, then Varadhara, the teacher, who is bowed to by all the Buddhas, best of the three diamonds, best of the great best, supreme lord of the three diamonds. Alex Wayman notes that the Pradipadiyotana, a tantric commentary, states that the three diamonds are the three mysteries of body, speech, and mind. Wayman further writes, Song Kha Pa Makhan Grell explains the Lord of Body, displays simultaneously innumerable materializations of body, Lord of Speech, teaches the Dharma simultaneously to boundless sentient beings each in his own language, Lord of Mind, understands all the knowable which seems impossible. According to the 14th Dalai Lama, the Adibuddha is also seen in Mahayana Buddhism as representation of the universe, its laws and its true nature, as a source of enlightenment and karmic manifestations and a representation of the trikaya. Within the Nichiren school of Japanese Buddhism, the Nikko lineage, specifically the Soka Gakkai and Nichiren Shosha, regard Nichiren as the Adi Buddha and dispute the contentions of other sects that view him as a bodhisattva. <laughs> 